feel like I probably had one of the most valuable experiences in my YouTube experience so far just a few weeks ago. And I wanted to share this story because I felt that it could be applicable to other YouTube channels or even real life. And this experience and story that I'm gonna to talk to you about taught me to put myself first and that nothing is more valuable than our time. It also helped me create what I call the three pillars of partnership. So let me explain the story. So a few weeks ago, I got contacted by a representative from a company. And for the respect of all parties involved, I'm gonna use fake names for the representative and for the company. So for the representative, let's just call him Johnny. And for the company, let's just call that company XYZ. So Johnny contacted me and he wanted me to review his company's product through my YouTube channel. And to be honest, I thought that this was a complete scam at first. I only had like 150 subscribers at the time and I was like, who's reaching out to me? You know, what makes me so special? I'm a nobody, you know? There's way more qualified people out there that's got tens of thousands of subscribers that are probably much more valuable. What, why are they reaching out to me? So I wanted to do my due diligence and I dug into the company a bit after doing some research. I found out that company XYZ and the representative Johnny were legit. They were real people. This was not a joke. This was not a scam. Okay, okay, cool. I'm, I'm glad it's not a scam. Continuing with the story, Johnny told me that he had been keeping tabs on my YouTube channel and that he really liked what I was doing on the channel. He said that he wanted me to review a product from company XYZ and create like a three minute video kind of reviewing the product, talking about whatever. He even told me that the product that he wanted me to review would come at no cost to me. It would be 100% free. Like, whoa, wait, wait, let me get this straight. So there's an actual company out there that wants to work with me, that wants to partner with me and have me review their product. I mean, I know it may not be something big to a lot of bigger channels, but this is a great, this is a huge milestone for, you know, a small channel such as myself right now. So before jumping the gun or doing anything crazy, I wanted to give my day to think about this. And although it seemed like it was a really great opportunity, I just wanted to make sure that it was a really good fit for my channel and for myself. To help me kind of decide what I wanted to do with this, I created something called the three pillars of partnership. Yeah, you know, a little cheesy, whatever the case is. It got a nice little ring to it. But let me show you what that is. I'm gonna use a little notebook here to help demonstrate. The three pillars of partnership. So what are these? Let's start with the first one here, aligning values. Does this opportunity align with my values? So for me, does this potential YouTube partner align with what I am making videos about? If not, then maybe this isn't the right fit for me. So for example, if I'm a YouTuber and I have a channel about vegetarian cooking and a company wants me to promote their product that's about new fresh steaks, then it's probably not a great fit. Now there may be exceptions and ways you can work around that promotion, but that's the gist of the first pillar. This goes to pillar number two, creative freedom. So do I get creative freedom to promote the product or service the way that I think is best for my channel and myself? Of course, now, the partner that you work with will have to validate that your video aligns with their requirements, but are they willing to let you be creative with that video? Now, obviously, you don't want to bash on the company that has generously offered to partner with you, but are they willing to accept that the product that they want you to promote may have flaws? Here's another example. Let's say a company wants you to promote some high-tech headphones. You try them out, and for the most part, they're pretty good, but you find they have some flaws. Is that partner going to give you the freedom to express those flaws to your audience, or do they only want you to mention the positives of the headphones? If they only want you to share the positives, and that doesn't sit well with you, then maybe this isn't the best fit. Personally, the last thing I want to do is lie or deceive my audience that I have worked so hard for to gain their trust. And this brings us to the last pillar, which in my opinion is the most important one. Monetary compensation. Is the partner willing to compensate you for your time? At first, I started doubting myself by saying things like, I've only got 150 subs right now. I don't think I'm in the position to charge for my time. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Listen, everyone's time is worth something. Don't sell yourself short. Even if you think that you're not good enough, your time is still worth something. I mean, if someone reached out to you like they did for me, that's all the proof you need to know that you're valuable to some degree. They came to you. Once I realized that, I created a monetary compensation rate for my time, resources, and services. So after creating these three pillars, 
what did I say to Johnny from company XYZ? I basically told Johnny everything we just talked about with that was in the three pillars of partnership and that if the conditions were met, then I'd be happy to work with him and company XYZ. And I also let him know that I was really grateful for the opportunity and just thankful that he reached out at all. Definitely a milestone for me, so I was just happy to even have that kind of experience. But after sending out that email again, I waited for response and I think the next day he did respond and he basically said that uh, unfortunately they didn't really have uh, the kind of budget and that all they could really do was just offer the free product that they wanted me to review. He apologized and said that if something changed then he'd let me know later in the future. And after he sent out the response, the conversation just kind of ended right there. So what's even the takeaway of all this? The real takeaway that I wanted to share was simply don't sell yourself short. You can apply this to YouTube and you can apply this to the real world. Even though this opportunity didn't work out for me, I really couldn't be prouder with the outcome. I just felt like I did what was best for my channel and myself at the time and honestly, I'm glad I did so. Whether you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. I'm not saying that these three pillars of partnership is the end all be all, but I'm just saying as for somebody who's never been in an experience like this where they had an opportunity like that at such an early point in like their YouTube journey, I'm just happy to have experienced it. And I'm glad I created some kind of foundation just to kind of help myself out if this ever happens again. Kind of create a concrete base so that if somebody does reach out to me again, I can just run it back through my three pillars. And if things work, great. And if they don't, that's okay too. I'll just move on. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Maybe you guys have some uh, insight or maybe you've been through something like this. Feel free to share. As always, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the